heap zero, our overflow is just a stack concern. Download the binary here, download the source here. Then we have a place to connect. So let's go ahead and download that. Okay, so we have this check win mem uh, if string compare the safe area is Biko. We win and we print the flag. Looks like everything is still secure. No flag for you. All right, we can print the heap. We can write to a buffer. We can print the safe variable. We can print the flag. All right, welcome to heap zero. I put my data on the heap so it should be safe from tampering. Since my data isn't on the stack, I'll let you write whatever you want to the heap. All right, so they've all right, we're going to malloc uh, malloc some heap data for input data size. We string copy pico to that. We malloc the safe variable size and we copy bico to that. Okay. All right, looks like we have to enter one first. We can print the heap. Oh, no, our value is how many things we scanned. Okay, so uh, we can print the heap. We can write the buffer. We can look at the safe variable and check the win condition. So checking the win condition is if the safe variable has Biko in it. Oh, okay, so we're going to be able to here read whatever we want into input data. All right, well, that's going to be interesting. So we can probably overflow the heap here. All right, well, let's let's take this for a spin and see what happens. All right, so we have two addresses. So there's the Pico and there's the Bico. Yep, so that's what the state looks like. You can write to the buffer. There's the safe variable, Biko. Everything's still secure. All right, let's just, let's just do lots of X's to see what happens here. Okay, so when we did the lots of X's, it looks like it was overwriting both of those things. So that looks like it's 32 characters. Okay. So the input data, so it's, and that one it was 32 characters before the safe variable. So if we can overwrite that, ah, so we just need to overwrite it with anything. I just need to overwrite it with anything. So we wrote to the buffer, we print the heap. So now we can print the flag and we win. So basically what we did is we overwrote this variable and it overlapped into the next variable, which wasn't what it was supposed to be. So when I wanted to print the flag, it let me do it. 
And there's my first heap overflow.